You're such an asshole. Oh, this is a painful one. She had a good heart. She she really tried, and we can't pick on her. Because it's a girl who went into STEM, but she went to M, math. And you say, well, what do you mean math? Uh, she majored in math. That was her degree. She majored in math. And now she wants to know what to do with it. <clears throat> Message body. I'm a senior and I'm a math major. I want to know if it's a good major. And I had to ask her, are you a senior in high school and you're planning on majoring in math? Or you're a senior in college and you are about to get a degree in math? And now, when most of the work is done, she wants to know if it's a good major. Millennials. And it was Gen X too. We all did that. I've heard it's a great major. It's definitely not easy. I'm thinking about going into data analytics. Do you have any advice? What are other jobs that I can go into after graduation? Is math a good major? Okay, look. <clears throat> Here, here's the more important question. Let's let's. You think your problem is determining what to do now with your degree. You have a much bigger problem of your lack of logic, I think, or your ability to assess things before you make a huge investment into this. Think about how illogical this is. You just spent four years, or are about to spend four years, Lord knows how much money, on a degree that you didn't even know, didn't even bother asking if it's a good degree or not. Now, fortunately for you, it sort of is. And we're going to talk about how you can salvage this degree or repurpose it to actually be successful. So you're not going to have to like go back to college and get a completely different degree. You may have to take some other classes, but you're not completely fucked like all these liberal arts majoring douchebags. Okay, so that, that you have going. But, but right now, here's what you got to do. You have to be better at assessing risk and reward. You have to, before you embark on a journey or make a big investment of your time or your money, you have, to, you have to assess whether it's worthwhile. You have to assess whether this is a worthwhile investment. Now, you got lucky this time, but what I'm more worried about is like, he has a penis. I don't know if I like penis, but I'm going to find out. Oh, the penis has herpes on it. Do I like herpes? I don't know. Is, there, is herpes a good thing to have? Sweetheart, I don't know how you got led down here. I don't know where your dad is. Probably ain't around, but you that's your number one problem right here. So, from here on out, you're not making any major investments in your future, your education, your finances, your romantic life, unless you learn to assess risk and reward. Okay, so that's, that's the first thing you have to do. Now, <clears throat> is it a good major? No. Nah. It's not the worst major because you have the raw talent and ability to repurpose it for other things. But you are going to have to pick up some other skills. Now, you talked about data analytics. Yes, big data. That is certainly a field to go into. But math is too much of a, it's like physics. It's too physical and theoretical. All of you fucking dipshit physics majors and math majors who say, well, I got a degree in math. I know, I know, I know. But are you just doing physics and math? Or are you doing something like programming? That's what I'm talking about. So you're going to have to learn some kind of programming skills, some kind of data analytics. I, I don't know what is SQL. Um, what's the other one? S S S S A. It's been, and it, Lord knows what it is this time. Back in my day, it was, I think it was SSA, all these different analytical programs. Um, but then you, you would have to repurpose your raw talent of math into something that would be employable. So you're going to want to maybe take some classes on statistical analysis, big data, computer science, computer programming, and then that would get you into the world of econometric modeling, becoming a quant, working in the financial world, maybe actuarial science. If you're more of the programming type, that could help you get into data analytics. Maybe there's a, there's a heavy Venn diagram layover or overlap between programming and math. Um, because it's logical, math is is a code. Programming is code, and it has to make logical sense. So you could you could very easily go into becoming a computer programmer. Um, your other options, if you're not going to go and take a couple classes that will provide you a skill or a trade that would give you a profession like actuary, quant, um, whatever else, uh, uh, econometrician, modeler, etc. Uh, then maybe you're going to look more down the academia route, which means you're just going to have to go get your doctorate or master's. And then you're pretty fucking worthless after that. You just teach. And I don't want to hear anything from you fucking math doctorates who teach. I don't want to hear it, okay? That, that's cute. Let us know when you solve some problems. Right? Now, see, now they're, now they're going crazy. They're getting really upset. <laughs> but for you specifically, dear, yeah, okay, you got a pretty good degree. 
you just got to find out and do some soul searching and figure out, okay, what, where do I want to go? So you, okay, you can, you got your senior, all right? School hasn't started just yet, but you're about to start. I would take a look, you know, whatever the classes are minimum for you to get your math degree, cool. But then find out if there's other classes, maybe something that you can get a minor in that would provide you that specific skill or trade. All right, so again, actuarial science, statistics, computer program, all that other stuff. So, um, I mean, what did it, I mean, just look it up. What can I do with a math degree? There's all this different stuff, big data, and, and they mentioned all this stuff before. But find out, and then, I would even say before, I mean, if you can do it, let's, let's, let's hustle. It's a little late in the game to be asking this question, but you got a couple weeks. Go online, take some classes, take some programming boot camp, do something to test and see what subcategory, what specialized purposed area of math that you have the greatest interest in, and then go sign up for those classes this year. Maybe you have to drop out of some and retake some, um, but that that's what I would do. And then while you're in school, uh, just because you have the degree doesn't, I'm sorry, just because you take a couple classes and it doesn't mean you have the skill set people are going to be looking for. So I'd be going online and teaching yourself whatever the programs are, whatever, you know, you, you decide you want to become big data, okay? You're going to need programming, you're going to need some computer class, stuff like that. Uh, so I'd be taking modeling classes, I'd be taking statistics, I'd be taking, you know, find out what are the big data companies using right now, what are those programs, I'd be teaching yourself that shit outside of school. So that by the time you graduate, you, in addition to you graduating, you have that skill listed there as well. So anyway, but yeah, I mean, you're lucky you got, you did, you did okay with your major. Uh, you just gotta, you gotta tailor it to a specific employable uh, a job or, or degree or skill. Um, but don't make that mistake again of investing that much of your time and money without first researching it. So anyway, best of luck to you. Toodles.